And it's the 20th of November, and this is vlog 117. In Isaiah 32, verse 18, there's a scripture that starts, My people, my people, if you're in the blood covenant with the King of Kings, you are part of my people. So this statement, my people, relates directly to his blood covenant sons and daughters. We are sons of the blood and it's royal blood because he's the king of kings. So the blood covenant, its main two components, if you remember, are protection and prosperity. And it's a choice. If we don't want protection, then we don't have to have it. If we don't want prosperity, we don't have to have it. If we didn't want to get born again, we didn't have to get born again. If we don't want to get healed, we don't have to get healed. If we don't want to be delivered from anything, we don't have to be delivered. It's all down to our choice. It's all down to the faith that we've been given in the Word of God. And the Word of God is full of blood covenant promises, which are all yes and amen for you and for me and all God's people. Doesn't matter what the circumstances are, what the internal circumstances are, the external circumstances, the visible circumstances or the invisible circumstances. God's blood covenant, covenant oath to me and to you and to all his people on this planet. He will never break it. He will never break it. He has never broke it. It will never happen. Because to break a blood covenant means you need to be put to death. <laughs> That's not going to happen. So, my people will dwell in a peaceful habitation. My people, my blood-bought, blood-covenant, blood-washed, blood-covered, blood-protected people will. Not might, or could do, or maybe sometime, but will. They will dwell. That means to dwell, means to live, to abide to settle down in peaceful habitations. That's habitations which are full of peace. And that word peace is shalom. Go and look it up in the Strong's Concordance or look it up on the internet, whichever you want to, and it doesn't just mean a nice quiet place. It means a place of victory. It means a place of health. It means a place of deliverance. It means a place of protection. This statement, my people will dwell in peaceful habitations, is a blood covenant oath and if you take this to your blood covenant partner which is your heavenly father and remind him of his word because he hasn't forgotten he just wants you to bring it and you declare to him your blood covenant oath to me is that I will dwell in a peaceful prosperous protected healthy highly favorable dwelling place that's a blood covenant promise. And the answer is yes. But your body is the house of your spirit. So your body is the blood covenant home of your spirit. And because your body is the blood covenant home of your spirit, then your blood covenant partner, your blood covenant uh, connection to the Father makes him or puts him in a place where he is committed to protecting your body and prospering your body. But once again, it's a choice. We can have it or we can reject it. We receive it by faith or we reject it through unbelief or we reject it through doubt. But he has called, your, he has called you to be the home of your recreated, born again spirit. Your body is the blood covenant home of your spirit therefore he is committed to protecting it and prospering it because that is his promise to Abraham in Genesis 15 protection and prosperity there's a whole untapped supernatural reservoir as it were of protection and prosperity which we God's blood-bought sons and daughters Sons and daughters of the blood covenant have never tapped into. And to make it more amazing, he's made Jesus the guarantee of it all happening in our lives. I don't need protection or prosperity in heaven after this body packs in. We don't need protection. 
or prosperity in heaven. We need protection and prosperity here. Abraham needed pro pro protection and prosperity on earth. So remember, Jesus is Lord and you are in a blood covenant of protection and prosperity here on earth.